Have you gotten any sleep so far to, uh, this week, man? <laughs> it's hard to sleep when you're uh, producing the, the biggest yeah. night, nightclub parties at Comic-Con. Uh, I've, I've worked in a few hours here and there because I have an incredible team. And they're in here at 6 a.m. every day flipping this place over from the previous fully immersive theme into the next night's fully immersive team theme to get it ready before the daytime activations that came in. We had Nerdist doing a tabletop RPG activation with Geek & Sundry. We had uh, Crunchyroll in here doing an activation today. They'll be back the next couple days as well. We went from Ready Player One to Stranger Things, which is totally different, yeah. and from Stranger Things to Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor Ragnarok, Cosmic Marvel. It's going to be incredible. I'm so impressed. I've attended both nights, and yeah, I, I figured like, oh, the same poster is going to be up the next day, but everything was almost entirely new. Pretty much, other than uh, just the the branding posters that we have in there, it's the only stuff that doesn't change. Everything else flips. All the walls, all the visuals, big props, centerpieces, uh, decorations in the ceiling. Like it's it's insane, and and the amount of like thoughtful care to represent the different uh, themes of the party is is really big for us. Cool. Um, when you're not here at Comic Con, you got your own live weekly show at, to at Toyzilla. Uh, that's right. So I'm the host of Nerd Talk Live on Nerdbot Media. We, uh, we're up every Monday night at 9 o'clock with uh, Amanda Lynn, my co-host, uh, talking nerd news, having fun, and getting ready for the next convention because we'll see you guys all over. All right, man. Good to see you again. Thank you.